He says, should I retire? My face looks hurt. I'm in pain. So many fake people can't trust no one. I have lost faith. People are evil. My dad once told me no one is going to appreciate what you did for them to get there. They will always say they did it on their own. The question is, should <laughs> artists should artists be able to drink on stage while performing at concerts? I say no because there's some artists that can't tolerate their alcohol. Y a veces cagan el palo, you know? For example, Chato. Como demás. <laughs> no, no names. Shit, man, shit, no man. names. No, Chato. Oh, no. Like, no, no hate, but. I'm not in this frame. No, he's in the frame. You You're... can't tolerate your alcohol. Angel to me. White thing. angle? <laughs> With angle. You can't, you Focus can't, on Angel. Red you can't tolerate your alcohol. There's some artists who actually hit women when they're drunk, but we're not saying that, but we're just saying. Some artists. <laughs> we're not saying that, but artists, he just said that? Who hit so women? I who say. said that? <laughs> I, But tell me, gente, watching this podcast, Peso Pluma and Agusta Baba podcast confirmed in a month from now. This is for you, Peso Pluma. With my compa Peso Pesado. Marquele. Dice más o menos. Así. Another video. flow. That was hard, guys. I think we should start a group soon. Oof. Again? Again? Get it on that comment down below. Back in the day. Oh, in the comments, start a otra, otra. Oh, And next podcast, we'll start with another banger. We'll Everybody. start even shittier with Angel playing the accordion. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody tag Pepe so we can come on. Yes. Uh, yeah, it says, that, next week, if you guys come in. Talento, mucho talento. If you guys yeah. come in enough, next week, I'll come in with my accordion. And we'll do the... Um, he Las rosas más bonitas del antro. He, he could do, do a solo show. Yeah, what? What's well, what? If you guys comment down below and we'll do join a uh, Canta con Del. Yes, 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 yes. Canta con Del. Let's do There it. you go. That's where we at. Right. We get it together. Para los que no sabían, Canta con Del is coming back. Hay para que se apunten. Para la gente que no sabe, ya sabe. Shh, but any guys, I don't know. I don't like to share. After all that guitar playing, you know, my language barrier just went. But anyway, guys, welcome back to Gusto Papa. Like I always say, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for all the love that you guys show consistently every week. We've been working so hard. This is our second week where Bitch, the editor... didn't even want to fucking work today. But he's here. Le estamos echando ganas. Thank God. Love you guys. Shout out to all, this, all the people that support us all over the United States. And toda la gente de Mexico. Mexico. We're going to put subtitles for y'all. Yep. Or learn English. <laughs> Just kidding. Y para la gente que anda comiendo, placer. Y para la gente que anda tomando, un salud. Placer. Salud. Placer. Placer. You know what? I want a little shot. I want a little shot. No cap. Just to get the nails. Mine yeah, isn't a little shot. Ricky. Ricky, be, 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 be. Ricky on the production. From the 100 Ricky, bottle. Ricky, 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 Ricky. Come in. Come in. Come in. Ricky. 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 I want the 42. Ricky. I want the 42. I want the 42. Want the 42. Want the 42. Ricky's part 42. of the founder circle. Yeah, he's Ricky the founder. Nah. My boy Ricky got. 42. He has a bigger. Uh, my boy got stocks. Yeah, he got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got royalties up in this. He's part of the plaque. He has regalias. Me, per, I have like, I'm at like 65,000 subscribers. Well, when I, when Guys, I'm there, super uh, pumped. I want to take a little shot. I'm super hyped to be here. I want to get the energy flowing. Show me your new hair. Show me your new hair. I've been in no, the los de la Nexo. I got a new haircut, but I put a beanie on because it's freaking cold over here in California. You know, it hit 60 and like every, all the Californians are quaking. But quaking. <laughs> quaking? This is a shot. No, this for is for you real, guys. guys. We're in a. The insulation on the garage is falling. Who's gonna take a shot with this me? This is really unhealthy because it's I like fiberglass. Who's gonna take a shot with me? You. You. You got a long ass neck. No. You can take like five. All right, guys. You and your this, neck. This is 
<laughs> this is for me. This is for us, the Gusto team. He need to take it. That's oh, nothing. All that for that? That's it? <laughs> Guys, yeah, they found the Ricky ghetto for nothing. All right, pass it. Damn. Yeah, that's right, Keko. All right, if you take a shot, I'll take another one. Oh. Bet, bet. Ah, boo. Duh, boo. Wow. Where's the Keko I liked? I Keko's an alcoholic. I gave, up on, no I gave up on drinking. Nah, guys. you're not peso pluma, you're peso pesado. Ah, huevo. I gave He's up on drinking, so I'm on a diet. How many days? He's on a diet. If you guys didn't know, Keko has a trainer, right? You have a trainer? He's uh, loading him up with meal preps and workouts, right? How's that going? <laughs> Full of gas, Nick. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Full of gas. Whoa, there, I'll buddy. Full, Full of ass. Gas, Full gas, of gag. Gas, gas. You gag a lot. I've been been eating different, so my stomach been <laughs> my chin. But I mean, I don't know. This is kind of random, but if you guys didn't know, we did a deal with Augusto Papa team that the person that has the biggest difference in weight, either in gaining or losing, is gonna get their trip paid to hawaii and how's that going for you guys uh i'm gonna just start tomorrow <laughs> That's crazy. it's hard honestly. but i, I think hard. i'm doing good because i don't think you guys have like are taking it seriously like you you're what like you I, I've been hitting that gym two i drank times a, a day. quart of milk yeah but that was like two days ago what do you mean that every and yesterday day you ate chick-fil-a i ate grilled chicken oh yeah <laughs> so that <laughs> oh, yeah, that, my cancels, choice, not your that, cancels, that cancels it out i i drank a diet coke which has zero calories zero sugar so i'm good Drink and water. And then, uh, Angel, I do. Angel supposed to be with the doctor. Still looks like Rob. I'm, I'm just, I'm just starting to love my body the way it is. No, I, I'm I at see. That stage. Angel's been hitting the gym hard. I, I could tell. Oh, but not enough. Not enough. I, like I, need, but I know. I was trying to hit it enough he, today. You know. He still be eating Chick Fil A with me when I invite him after the gym. Like, hey, let's go get some chick. Like, Hell no, you know? never. He never invited me. Also, guys, we have a PO box down here. If you guys want to send the stuff to open on the podcast, and also we have a hotline. So just text this number up here. If you guys want to participate in the podcast, we're going to be calling you guys to tell you guys, uh, ask you guys questions, and you guys can give your opinions and come out on the podcast. And also, we have a cash app right here below. If you guys want to donate money, some people donated the last episode, so I'm putting their stuff right here. But you guys could donate to us so we could get a new place. The insulation is horrible. Yeah, I walked into the insulation. I walked into fiberglass. Yeah, fiberglass falling onto Gecko. Yeah. And Angel has a babe drop. Yes, guys. Soon. Look, check it out. This is the one right there. I'm having a babe drop. Uh, I'm calling it here this uh, March uh, March 10th. I think it's a Tuesday. It's going to happen. And use code Augusto for 10% off. I'm going to ship out all the stuff. I'm going to get these guys to, help, guys to help me out. And stand out next time you go out to a party. And don't, don't wear just, uh, what do you call it? You got to go. Psycho Bunny or Hugo Boss, like every single other Mexican out here. Wear some babe. Be a man. Don't be basic. Buy some babe. Yes. Augusto, we're going to be all packing it. <clears throat> so thank you. And the website's on the bottom. Right here. Right. First thing in the description. And also, Nathan and Junior sold out their show in two hours. That's crazy. I'm going to be honest. I missed it. But um, I didn't know. But I, I think we got tickets. You missed it, but Jimmy has your back. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Wait, did you guys actually... Does Jimmy know he has your back? He doesn't know yet. <laughs> oh, actually, JB, JB, JB. My bad. I said Jimmy. Do you guys funny because I called man, him. The boy. I called him and he was like, you, can get a, you didn't get tickets, huh? Father, fuck. He didn't even let you finish your sentence. No. Yeah, yeah, I got my you, boy's bro. in Paris. He's like, that's crazy. Better luck next time. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Nah, he said, like, I got y'all. I like what you guys are doing. And then he said, send me a list and he didn't reply. That's like the scariest <laughs> part because they always do that. They don't reply. And then I'm like, so did we get it or not? That and now we, we just wait till the last minute, day. like, like, hey, just be free just in case we get we go to the concert. We're episode. still showing up. No, we're showing up regardless. Like, we'll sing from outside. But that's pretty impressive. Two hours and they sold out the show. Well, I mean, it's not that in junior. It's pretty crazy. Like the founders of the Tumbao. And yeah. a lot of people were complaining because they didn't get like the pre-sale code or they didn't get notified. Because I guess you had to be a Ticketmaster uh, member or some shit. Oh, like yeah. That. So I think there's going to be a second. One. That's the only way to buy tickets though, right? Like, I'm pretty uh, sure they're going to have a second date. They're adding a second date. I think Jimmy said they're adding a second that's date. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know. The next no, no. He, I think he was commenting. Oh. It's like, we're probably going to add a second date. Damn. They should just somewhere do a bigger. tour, might as well. You know how much money they'll bring in? I feel like a tour would do very well with them. And especially it, not that, like, since he's coming out with... Nah, I think they're going to do a tour. They're just hyping it up. Yeah? yeah? I feel like... I feel like an album's coming. They got... They got a I don't know. That'd be interesting, though. Why don't you tour? Because, I mean, they did blow up together, and they do have a lot of songs together. Like, there's a lot of underground songs that didn't hit, but they have them together, you know? Can you name one? Uh, Viejo Va Vaya? Is that the one from the um, Festores? El Efe. 
Um, um, what else? What else? What else? You know how to a, speak an a real connoisseur. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't know the top of my. Hola de paso por Culacan. They do that together. Yeah, yeah paso por but that was more like a hit though. Con bachachito. Oh yeah, I know. I'm, I'm Alexis gonna... Fierro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, I mean, hopefully we go. We're trying to get lit. No, nah, we're not trying to get lit. We're trying to be 100% full sober so that we can sing along to every single line, hit mm-hmm. every note. I'm just going to be like buzz level. That's it. Oh, yes. Oh, he he's not drinking at all. When the ones you hear, like the music, like you just want to drink more. I know. I'm going to sing so hard. They're going to make a meme out of me. Someone was commenting that we were annoying at the concert. We sat next to him and his wife because we kept getting up. I'm going to defend myself. Yes, we were. But honestly, we have to use the bathroom a lot and we get uh, there's like free drinks if you go like to the other side. So that's why. And the bathroom is super, super long. So you should go to the backstage. My boy, Molo VIP. Yeah, I'm going to back him up. Like, we drink a lot of beer. And you and we have to pee like every fucking... Yeah, so that's the downside of drinking beer. But you offered them something, no? <laughs> I'm going to back up the other guy. We are annoying. And we did get up excessively. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, we did. We do that a lot. But usually, again, but like, when you if you drink beer, you know that like you just got to go. You know, you just got to go. And usually sometimes we can't make up our minds. Sometimes we go backstage Don't and we drink. come back and then we go this way and then we go that way. Yeah, so that is annoying. Over, we're always all over the place. Yeah. Angel's the only one that stays. Like, bro, y'all here moving more than Jimmy. Like, calm down, sit down. Yeah. No, because sometimes there's like people like, you know, you just want to meet. Like, Ovi was there. Oh, people yeah. didn't know Ovi was there. You didn't say what's up because you were a shy bitch. I know, I was shy. <laughs> Obi is the bello gallo de oro. Hmm? You didn't want to say what's up to him? No, I uh, didn't say what's up. I did not say what's up, but I did not think about saying hi to him. That's I cool. was like, oh, that's him. That's cool. He's wearing a lot of vape. I that you sell him, huh? Westcoastbiplip.com. I wish so. Papa cool. Bleep that shit out, Brandon. <laughs> 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 no, don't bleep it. Go buy something. Don't help brother out. What's the first topic today? Well, honestly, since we're already talking about, you know, Junior H and all that stuff, like, it has to do with Rancho Milde. You know, the CEO of Rancho Milde is thinking about retiring. He made a post. Um, you know, he did like a little bougie pic, clean fit. and he's, Something a little like... I know my boy planned the outfit. A little, <laughs> you know, a little Tumblr, a little a little artsy. A little get the, but the here's the post. Line. I think he had a I'm lot to say. The and I think... Yeah, so the post said, where's Jimmy? He said it was a pic of him. He says, should I retire? My face looks hurt. I'm in pain. So many fake people. Can't trust no one. I have lost faith. People are evil. My dad once told me no one is going to appreciate what you did for them to get there. They will always say they did it on their own. On their own. Own. And he posted that. And then after that, Ramon reposted on a story. Ramon from Lumbre Music and also Ramon who was in Legado 7. We still in Legado 7, but... Uh, obviously, Legado City was part of Rancho Mille. They split up. They had that problem with the Lumbre music and a bunch of stuff going on. And he reposted it and he put a video of... Uh, what's his name? The video of where Drake, Drake famously laughing, laughing oh, yeah. in the back of a convertible Maybach. Well, when, when I see a post like that about Jimmy Mille, the CEO of Rancho Mille, why, the first question that comes to mind is why do you guys think he wants to retire? Like, you know, aside from like what he posted... I feel like it's just like a normal thing everyone goes through, especially like business owners, entrepreneurs, because you go through a lot of stress. There's like so many employees you have to deal with, artists, problems. Artists, yeah. Even if it's like not him and it's like something that like someone in his team did, like Jimmy's a face, so it's like Jimmy this, yeah, Jimmy that. Yeah, yep. And I think he decides to vent how his feelings online. I think uh, a lot of people just deal with it privately. Mm-hmm. Like they just don't post a picture and you know, tell them. Because it presta para los comentarios, you know, making fun and stuff. Like yeah, that. and I feel like another thing about Jimmy is that, you know, although he's like the CEO of a really big record label, he also really puts his, himself out there like as a public figure, you know. Mm-hmm. And I feel like other compared to other CEOs of record labels, they don't do that. Yeah. More like, like prop, you know, props to him because I feel like that he's helps. more personal with his fans and like the record label and brand that he's building. Yeah, because I've noticed too that some other people like all they do is like just the promotional stuff. Like, you don't see any of their regular life or, like, their emotions. Or like, how he makes stuff. a video, like, every morning. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Right? Jimmy's such a great guy. Do you think that's a good thing? Gives out tickets to us. Do you think that's a good <laughs> thing that he does that? Or you think it's... Does it well, I it think could. so. I really do. Th- I think it is great. It could. But at the same time, it could be bad because then that's when people... I feel like people you know, just got people the People would start stirring the pot. Like, what Ramon did, obviously, he, there, there, there is no, like necessary like there's no point of doing that and it's just you know 
at the same time and the same time at the same time you know it brings them more down than instead of fucking like helping them out and shit but i don't know some people like to express their feelings and online be heard and sometimes people just keep it on the low yeah but i think the being personal on your social media is good because it makes you more more clo- closer to people mm-hmm. sometimes people might just follow you and like all they see is like you promoting whatever new you got going on that's probably but neat. you see them post you know themselves at a vulnerable position or algo que se presta to make fun of them and stuff like that it makes you i mean the price to pay is that they might make fun of you but also on the other hand you see people support because for every comment that you see like oh bad you see a good one and then also people feel more attached to the character like connected they could resonate yeah so with then that. later on when he's trying to promote something or something like that then you know they they kind of know the person more and they're more they'll be more willing to promote i mean not promote to support whatever the project is do you guys think like another artist like betrayed him like a yeah. big artist i mean That's i feel like that? in both in business i feel like that happens a lot you know maybe like him as a ceo he has stuck his head out for people and then like at the end of the day like they don't really appreciate you know the action or the like that res- like that he backed them up but i feel like it's totally like normal you know like it's just life is he just an up and down yeah and i down? feel like since he's in a super like he's in a position of power in a sense like it's only bound for him to ha- like stuff like that to happen Cause, like it comes with success you know mm-hmm. yeah but then on the other hand you have somebody like ramon that posts something like that Algo de saber, you know? También. Well, yeah, just like private stuff between them that maybe, that Ram- maybe Ramon. Yeah, just like only them to know. But yeah. after that, Ramon they got the whole, oh, go. You gonna see that? <laughs> you could do it. Oh, Ramon posted that. And after that, Jimmy posted this two days later. He said, fools are happy about a post I did. Well, let's just say that you 187 million on the charts and I'm still number one. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, number so one as executive <clears throat> producer, no? <laughs> I, I think that's what uh, I can't remember if it was for writers or something like that. But Jimmy is number one. And then JB commented, "Good thing is they watching." And then Jimmy said, "They always watch my brother. They got no other choice. If not, they stay behind and won't know what to do." Damn. Damn. If Jimmy does retire, who would become like the new face of? Rock? I mean, obviously, he's not, I don't think he'll retire no, anymore. But it, if, to answer your question, JB, Roque. Yeah, and I feel like like the whole culture. I feel like in a sense they do have a lot to do with what it is now. You know, like I feel like they really made a like a good foundation and a good system to keep pushing the um like the culture. You know, yeah. Because I see them Push work the with a lot forward. of other stuff. You know, like like who? Like I see them work with you know, for example, Live Nation. You know. um Oh, like yeah, definitely Amazon. in that aspect they've leveled up. Like, yeah, I feel exactly. Like, back then, like, like, they made it mandatory to, like, work with other people, you know? Well, I get your point. I don't know about mandatory, but I think back then, like, they definitely didn't do the shows with Live Nation. No, mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Somebody like, that now they're relying on and, like, you know, Live Nation. Or AEG. I feel like back then it was mostly just, like, flyer party, cash type of thing. Like, I, they I probably, heard, like... I heard of that, too. Now like, like, they, they probably, like I think it's still like that, too. Just maybe. cash. Oh, a lot of... A lot of it's mm. just maybe like they know who is the promoter at like that uh, the venue mm-hmm. and they call them up. It's like, hey, my boy, how are you? Yeah, yeah, they chop it up and they're like, oh, I want this date, how much? He's like, oh, this much. Uh, and then they probably like even still haggle and stuff like that. And they're like, I bet. See you then. Yeah, and, and I heard they just show up that day. I heard it was really risky too because I've heard that a lot of artists like they would leave with like a shitload of cash and it was obviously dangerous. Yep, but now they're with Live Nation, and I think that's a step in the right direction. Now they got a wire transfer. <laughs> yeah, towards matching uh, <laughs> the level that the English music is at. No, for real. I feel like uh, I feel like the way business is being done in the regional is turning more into like the the American side, like how you just said. So it's like in a way, it's it's upgrading, and it, like there's gonna be a new standard of how. Business yeah, yeah, no, is definitely. Like Rancho Milde and other companies are playing catch up. They're playing catch for up real, to, for real, for real. to English music mm-hmm. that's more established. Yeah, I feel um, like, oh. maybe maybe some, and then also I feel like a lot of people in the regional don't listen to any other stuff, so they're pretty closed off to everything else that's going on. So they might think like, oh, Rancho Mil is like the number one, like best thing in the world, but they are playing catch up and the same way like everybody else in the spaces. I and I feel like now that more doors are opening up in both English and Spanish, because you know there's artists, there's uh, rappers collabing with Mexican artists and vice versa. So I feel like 
they're each learning different stuff from both general ge- uh, general generals whatever genre? Genre. genre genre and then they're just building off of that so now i feel like everyone's still learning but at the same time people are still getting fucked over in the industry yep yeah and i think what i i want to add on to what keko said is that for example business is done it, business is being done across you know different genres for example like marshmallow jop and oh that's what i was, that's that's what I was thinking of and peso pluma like that's insane you know Amer- uh, marshmallow is like this huge american artist Not in an, an american record label and now like they're just finding ways to cross paths not tan bad bunny yeah you know that was like the that was the, the pi- first the pioneer of like first but First, like, but like, and then group of men tried to say, "Well, we're opening doors, right?" No, you're not. Shut up, like, bro. They walked yeah. in through the door that not that yeah, open. Yeah, like that. They, they, they walked in through the cover door. So all I do is covers. <laughs> okay, we, <we're, laughs> we don't mean to talk shit. We don't mean to talk <laughs> shit. We're just spinning facts. Damn. Yeah, so you think making a cover not in a, the same, the same thing as making your own song? Nah, cause you could be like, you know, it's more joyful. It's like writing, you you writ you wrote something that became successful instead of like using the other person's stuff does that apply to Fuerza Regida Grupo Frontera like what you're saying like that reel the reel that we made that went viral we got our first million I wish I got 1.2 million true now. but they got composers you know so that's like it's the same thing but you said it's not the same as you writing it well yeah no it. no but yeah you it's, can, it's like you can hire Regida, someone to write you like a when song we played Fuerza Regida and they brought like the big old bodybuilder and like, that's what we lost they got outside help that's good but it's like <laughs> Body ha- hiring hiring a composer and then like he was laughing at just you. taking a song out that was that. already out but wasn't a hit is like different, you know? Because nowadays like everybody got composers. Sometimes some are ghostwriters, some are like like Drake. Everybody known, makes you know? fun of him for having ghostwriters. And then sometimes, but like he's still a genius. Yeah. In a sense. So, sometimes there's composers that don't even get the credit <laughs> that should be <laughs> given, right? Like, uh, like Bebe, like. Armenta, yeah. he, he ended up getting the, the credit. But what do you guys think of Ghost Riders? Do you guys think it's like? Because I feel, I feel like that's a little of, different. I feel a lot of comments are like, "Oh, you have a Ghost Rider. JOP has a Ghost Rider." Like, is that a bad thing? Well, siento que sacarita un poquito porque cuando tienes un Ghost Rider, you're crediting those lyrics to you. Because yeah. let's say I I write a cool song and I'm like hey you know like I'm nobody I know I release this good stuff and like nobody's going to care about it but I give it I sell it to you you know let's say you pay me you know 100 bucks mm-hmm. you go off you make a hit with it cuz it's your image you know everything that I don't have but you said you wrote it too so I mean it's okay you know it's legal like we made a, a deal mm-hmm. but it discredits a little bit but when it's a cover no I I think it's okay cuz well, I mean especially when it's a song that wasn't popular and then like you made a pop Mm. Yeah, because I was seeing that a lot of people were commenting that, like, kind of bashing JOP. But I mean, like, that's oh. been done like multiple times, and I think it's smart JOP. You know, JOP thinks he's not, he lacks in writing. Just hire someone, and he just but he, where he does the thing. Yeah, oh, because I mean, they were saying like las cumbias originales, huh? Yeah, which just comments that are like, oh, JOP just has these people just to write for him, and like, I mean, like, it's because like some people are made to write. And that's it. And some people are just mm-hmm. made to be artists and perform, you know? Some people are writers and people are, some people are performers or, or, like, vice versa. Some people are artists, like, actual artists, and then some people are composers. So, you know, right? Why, why not, like, just... You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, because some have the talent to write. But I would say that's what mismos que no, que no, like, the, the ones that write the songs can't don't have the voice to sing, you know? Yeah, exactly. And oh, yeah. the singer, I would say, like... They're so caught oh, up. Like in, Pepe's a composer, huh? Yeah, Pepe's yeah. Composer. Like, like the artists are so so busy going to shows, going to events, going to this, going to busy uh, singing. Yeah, yeah, that they don't have the time to write it. So a veces, si conviene, like it's the same thing as a business owner. You're a business owner, but then you hire employees to to do make what money, that's perfect. You know? That's a good to example. do what you lack in. To yeah. Delegate, yeah. So like a veces, like an artist is gonna need that that backbone, and that's when they hire the composers. Yeah, a veces the composers. Instead of being in a in a full contract, they'll become a ghostwriter. So I say, yeah, they they have the capability of 
expanding and going on to different. <laughs> 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 My boy was like, I thought like, hey, have you guys seen that one meme? That one meme. He was about to explode his head. He looks like he knew he had to stop right there. He started laughing because he didn't know what to say next. Have you guys seen that? Pero de vez en cuando, si hay uno que canta muy bien y escribe también muy bien. Diego telling the fans, well, that's all y'all getting tonight. He's like, all right, dude, my boy put on his hoodie. That's all y'all getting tonight. My boy's ready. Airplane mode. Hey, have you guys seen that one meme from the hangover? Over where he's playing poker and it's just like yeah like yeah, all yeah, these yeah, yeah, yeah. that's kick right Let's now. Production. That's crazy. All right, before we go on break, I want to ask you guys: Do you guys think having a ghostwriter or a composer is necessarily a good thing or a bad thing? Let me know in the comments. And if you guys heard of that, that is the, the door opening door. because it's so windy and we got cold. Put we'll be back. Back to the put the cash. Break. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're back in the break and. We got a new segment for you guys, like my boy Keiko likes to say, and it is called a gusto hotline. So basically, what we do is we have we get feedback from the fans from the topics that we talk about. And right now we have Susie on the phone with us, and she's from Alabama. She's been sorry supporting us. <laughs> <her. laughs> he said Alabama. Is it Alabama? Guys, if you guys want to be, you guys want us to, if you guys want us to call you guys, just uh, text this number up here, and then once in a while we're gonna be like, hey, what do you guys think about this? And then we'll call you guys. Right now we have Susie on the line from uh, Alaska, from Alabama, from Wakanda. <laughs> and okay, the, wh where are you from? Where are you from, Susie? Kansas. Oh, Kansas. 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 I said Alabama. The Alabama. coolest flyover state in the nation. Mm -hmm. All right, Susie, you saw uh, Jimmy's post. He was sad. He's tired. His face looks tired. He wants to retire. What did you think about that? Okay, so when I first read it, I was kind of like surprised. And I was like, hold on. I'm doing it for like the attention. You know what I mean? Oh, he's doing it for attention? Yeah. So maybe like a marketing scheme? Who knows? Yeah. A marketing scheme? Maybe he's thinking of put, dropping a new song? Maybe. No, like, <laughs> I don't know. Because it gave me, like, middle school vibes, that post. Middle school vibes? What do you mean middle school vibes? With, like, it was kind of similar to, like, those people that would post, like, don't hit me up, only real ones know. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, 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 shit. <laughs> like, where my hug at? <laughs> <laughs> and then they put their phone number, you know, just in case you need me. He's like, don't hit number. me up if you know you know. Yeah. Logging off social ah, media for a little bit. Oh, and okay. then between the fight of Jimmy Humilde and Ramon, who do you think is right? And why? I don't know. Okay, bye. We'll see you <laughs> Damn, we'll shout out to Susie from Alabama. Que te la pases muy bien. Alaska. Alaska, sorry. No, no, I'm in from there, Arkansas. No. Where, where are you from? Kansas. Albania. Yes. Uh, Kansas. Allá que hay? Puro Kansas City a la verga. Oklahoma, no? No. There's nothing to do here. Don't go to Arkansas. Do not go to Arkansas. <laughs> anyway, well, no, you. anyway, we appreciate we appreciate you taking the time to call and giving your opinion. That was your opinion and not ours. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 See ya. Thank you. I thought it'd be a regular call, but can't go FaceTime them. He's gonna be like, "What's the move?" <laughs> That was the last segment. All right, guys. That but was that, a that was a good opinion. That was like, oh, yeah, very, yeah, that was a very strong. <laughs> Like when she said it gave me the middle school vibes when people, I did not think about that, but it was like, you know, people that were like, I'm going to stay on social media. Just add me on Snapchat. I'll be back on my birthday. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn, who said that? This one? No, I'll give you an example. Like middle, oh, school, middle school. I'll be back on my Susie yeah. said middle school shit. That's okay. Crazy. Yeah, it was okay. not us. It was not us. That was the very first Augusto hotline. Shout out to Susie. And we got someone up next. Let's see who we got. We got... We got El, me oh, el mero Chuy up next. Mero That's right. Que rollo? Okay, ask him the question again. Right? Yeah. Chuy, you're currently on the Agusho Baba podcast. Um, That's right. So you saw the post about Jimmy, right? When he looked a little sad. And he was talking about retiring. What did you think about that? All right, I'm going to keep it clear. Look, I got three things to say about this topic. All right. Number one. Honestly, it's kind of sad. Because even though you can say negative stuff about him, um, like with cases with certain artists, he overall seems like a genuine person, like that's looking out for like Mexicans and other people, and like often he's like misinterpreted as like a person who's being 
who's taking advantage of upcoming artists, who then exploits them and like to spit them out. But that's just the industry, bro. If you no pay us, then bro, we don't need you anymore. I look, I see. Um, yeah, yeah. And number two, it's a business. If it, if it were to happen, that would be like an end of an era, bro. With Jimmy retiring. I feel like he's like one of the main people who created the movement for like Mexican American kids to find the interest in them being cool, that regional Mexicano, to like listen with their friends at school. Like everyone in high school now who's Mexican knows about like Corio Zambada and all that. Like 10 years ago, it was mainly like English music, bro. Y ahora, número tres. Maybe some could say the most important thing. All right. As I was doing research about him for this segment, I went to his Instagram, and I just now found out that he has... <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Okay, 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 okay. We oh, stop right there. No, we stop right no, there, okay. I don't know oh, where you're going damn. here, but we stop right there. That's... Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. <laughs> well, shout out to Drewy. Very strong statement. <laughs> Back it up on the third one, though. Oh, my yeah, you God. Gotta that. that was crazy, bro. I was about to drop your app, but I don't think we should anymore. <laughs> we're going to have to bleep that out. <laughs> Damn. Hey, I, those were some very strong topics. No cap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 Damn, bro. but I appreciate you. Wait, wait, hold on. We got one more question for Chewy. Hey, Chewy, so between the fight of Jimmy and Ramon from Lumbre Music... Who do you think is right and why? Bro, honestly, I think it's Jimmy, bro. Because I saw the interview he did with Pepe. Mm -hmm. And, like, um, the story about him, like, coming up. Like, how he was always, like, a genuine person. That's what that's what makes me think, like, he, him as, like, a very genuine person. Of how um, he said specifically that JLP from Fuerza Regida um, believed him over Ramon because of because of the talk they had between them, he uh, that JOP heard both stories and that he leaned over to Jimmy. Damn. Respect. SLC, I remember that was a that. good point, Chewy. That's crazy. Very valid. Very valid. Yeah, well, thank you for doing your homework. You um, you know, you came with very articulate points. We appreciate it. And we're going to put your thing right here on the screen so you guys can go follow him. <laughs> Shout out to Metal Chewy. Thank Real. you, Chewy. Real one. Thank you, bro. And nos vemos. All right. Yeah, so what Chuy was talking about is that uh, when GOP found out there was beef between Rancho Mille and Lumbre Music, he was like, what's going on? So he went to both sides, what's going on? He, he told uh, Lumbre Music what's going on, then he went to Jimmy, what's going on? Got both sides and said, Jimmy's right, I'm leaning this way. Yeah, that's the side that he picked. And están hablando de, de lo que pasó en la entrevista de Pepe. Le mandamos saludo a Pepe, nuestro colega. And then we have the third supporter, Gio from, where are you from, Gio? North Car Car California. North Carolina? North California. Sacramento. Sacramento. North Sacramento. Sac Shout out to my boy from Sacramento. Gio, a.k.a. also. Yeah, oh, he's wearing the merch. Oh, oh I got that gusto merch. merch. Woohoo. Just tall. <clears throat> Guys, if you guys didn't know, this is the same Gio that... Big Daddy Gio. Big Daddy Gio that we talked about last week. Don't call him Gio. Call him Big Daddy. Big Daddy Gio. Big Daddy Gio. Hey, Gio, so um, you, did you see Jimmy's post? Yeah. What did you think about it? Um, I personally don't think he's going to retire, but I think it shows kind of like the importance of having so much power. So like, he's a CEO of Rancho Milde, so it kind of shows how even if you help so many people, like he said, people are still going to find a way to stab you in the back. And it just kind of shows how he's basically saying he's struggling like with his mental health, which kind of explains why he's in Italy right now, probably on vacation. I did not even know he's in Italy, but that's Damn, he's in Paris. FBI. You call him your son, Paris, from the Eiffel Tower. That's crazy, and I, I think it, I think it was a good thing that you brought up mental health because it's, that's something that maybe a lot of people don't consider that could be a problem, but you know, it's a very serious thing. Yeah, very articulate like point. They usually, like, he helps so many people, but at the end of the day, lo que cuentas, like, that there's your artist, like, are you okay? Like, how was your day? And kind of, like, just checking up on who helps you promote your music and stuff. Nobody asks us if we're okay, huh? They just ask for tickets, you know, that's how are you? 
Yeah, Jimmy, if you're watching this, ass, send me a ticket too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody's everybody's trying trying to, what was doing, guys? Jimmy was like, anyways, can I get a ticket? <laughs> Damn, we're all, everybody's in the same thing, huh? Hey, yeah, okay, Gio, nice. where do you oh, want a ticket to? Oh, I got scared. Was it was, I want a ticket to? Yeah. Mm, honestly, if I could pick anything, it'd probably be to like meet Jimmy and meet them. Oh, God? Yeah, kind of like. Why? I feel like he's a really smart person. Didn't you meet him? Like, yeah, I did meet him, but like... I <laughs> like, I mean, you like, got to take a picture, but like, you didn't get to chop it up, you know? I mean, That's yeah, what you like, meant. have a oh. conversation with him, kind of like, see like, the different side of the business, like, not talking to an artist, but talking to the person behind mm, everything. Damn, I like guess. that perspective very, very... Maybe personal. Jimmy will listen to this, and he'll fly you out. Sure, sure. Like I thought he... Like the, <laughs> yo, like the Big Daddy Geo. Big Daddy Geo's gonna give me a flight. Big Daddy That's Geo. Crazy. You wanna tell him the story why you're called Big Daddy Geo? Why you went from Geo to camera, Big Daddy the Geo? the camera right here. Big Daddy Geo, what's up? To the other camera right there. Oh. This was showing it to the TV. No, the camera's right there, no? <laughs> yeah. All right, Geo, tell him why they call you Big Daddy Geo. Well, basically, I didn't know this, but this girl FaceTimed me the day of the Ivan Cornejo concert. And she told me she was with Augusto Papa, and obviously I answered. And then I guess when she hung up, that's she the only reason he answered. That's that in her Snapchat. So it is what it is, you know. Damn! 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 My boy said, "It is what it is." My boy be clapping. So. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that girl's a fan too, bro. Oh, but anyway, oh, Gio's gonna be that. Gio's gonna become a teacher soon, so his students will call him Mr. Big Daddy Gio. Mr. Big Daddy. <laughs> oh, really? A teacher? Like yeah. elementary, middle school, high school? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what Kaker used to call. I don't. I forgot what teacher. Bro. <laughs> hey, but thank you, Gio. Yeah, luck, Shout bro. out to Gio for hopping on the Augusto hotline. You guys need. Yeah, cuando vengas, nos avisas otra bro. vez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Hey, take care. Take care, Gio. We love you. Bye. Bye. The Damn. segment's lit. The, the segment's, segment's lit because you get different perspectives from yeah. all over. I'm ready they kind of all agreed the same thing, right? But yeah. Everybody wanted a ticket. That was cool. Fucking <laughs> 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 Metal Chewy Savage. I know. I didn't know he had that in him. I didn't know he had that in him. We might have to leave that out. Hey, but no cat, no cat. That's pretty true. Nobody... No, but I don't think he meant anything. No, towards I, I know, I know. I think he just meant like, oh, he. Yeah, we're gonna leave that out too. Chewy, oh, Chewy, hola. Uh, the Gio was pretty right about like the mental health part. You know, no one oh, really yeah. actually took that into consideration that he might be going through some shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like at the level of success that he's in, I feel like he could go through a lot. You know. Yeah, I mean, he like, might have, like, I, it's no doubt that, like, he has a lot of money, but, like, is, everything, if, if but is your brain good? Is your health good? What, he has what a lot about, of work? Like, that's the real wealth. What about if he made it to where, like, he's, like, I mean, I could use a million you know, dollars, like, too. What, you know? What's next from here? And then he's still <laughs> dealing with the problems of artists leaving him. Then don't, those artists betraying him and trying to, like, start more problems than how to be, you know? Mm -hmm. But he yeah, has shitload on his play. And <sighs> Do you think maybe there's something that's worrying him? Like... Something, maybe uh, what is it? Isn't he going to court with Lumbra Music? Oh yeah, I think maybe that's something court. that could be warning him. Damn. But if he's in the right, he shouldn't have nothing to worry about, right? Ooh. So he should be good. But we'll let us know what goes. you guys think. I mean, we're all below. human. We're all human. We're all imperfect. Wants a ticket. <laughs> yeah, let us know down below what you guys think about this situation. Is he gonna retire? Is he going through something? There are people stirring the pot that shouldn't be stir stirred. But let us know down below. That was a really good topic. What do you guys think would ever happen if they just come across each other? I'm surprised they haven't seen each other. I'm pretty sure they have, but probably like... <clears throat> nah, I, I feel like they wouldn't so. do nothing. Well, not nothing, but like a little like... Hey, bitch. Some shit like that. They no. wouldn't fight. I know I know. like the securities would mad dog the shit out of each other, though. Well, I don't think... <laughs> I, don't think Lumbre, I don't think Lumbre got security. No, they do. They got him. Yeah? yeah. Well, I mean, maybe they're just like... No, but... No, they do. They do. That's what I'm saying. Like, like Rancho Milde and, and Jimmy, they're they're very... They got them big out, dogs. They're, they're very outspoken and show a lot of the stuff that they do, their lifestyle and stuff. You don't really see that on the other side. Mm -hmm. You know, you never seen them post anything aside from... This new song came out, yada, yada, yada. So they're not as relatable. And yeah. also you don't know, you know, about their security. But do you guys think that the music industry is like really scam? Like 
the music really scam the, no like it's it's, it's a, a it's an actual like it's scam. really scam like it's a scam like <laughs> the award shows <laughs> all of that stuff like you are you talking about like premio lo nuestro yeah or like all the premios like What's going think, on right now you think or, or was it a one day thing yeah it happened yesterday dude honestly Miami, like no? next next award show i want to go like i feel like we should go to that hey. pues aunque sea desde afuera huh desde afuera a ver que nos encontramos en la calle i know we could <laughs> porque que nos dejen entrar no creo eh <laughs> no, not we the should, way that we, we react like into that like in, uh, we should huh because we were so close to going to the billboards oh yeah, yeah we were, really close we were so excited it. but then there was like a storm in miami hurricane yeah, no. it was hurricane no se pudo but i con el apoyo si se quiere el señor cash up el señor cash <laughs> up <laughs> send the cash and watch the ads yeah, no, yeah watch just watch the ads if you guys can it helped out a lot a lot help out drop a, a like and a comment too to get boost our Yeah, or APG. Nah, so but do you guys, do you guys think of the scam? Because like, I mean, there's some artists that been like nominated, that haven't even released any new music, or that are not trending. Like who? Aldo Trujillo, for example. Well, that he was nominated. Yeah, that's weird. He though. was nominated. I don't know how that works. Like to song. nominate, like. Oh yeah, yeah, artists. yeah. So I, I think, como, what they, what they have a hold of is who they nominate. And then, well, us, as you know, like, the end user, we get to vote. So it's not like, let's put the top people here, just like, let's just nominate. So and it's like, they win, they win either way because they're like, oh, okay, who do I want to win? One of these five. And then I get, I get, let like, you pick one of these five. Either way, I won, you know? Mm -hmm. Somebody that I wanted to won. Like, to won or to win? To win, won. That's right. There you go. Yeah, so I think it's something it's, like it's that. So it's not, fucked, it's not, like, it's it's like, not like, the people's choice. Is it the people's choice or not? Well, we no, choose, that's what I'm but saying. like they put like they choose their Karin top Le five. Leon against like Aldo Trujillo. Like no, but you, the thing that I was saying, the low base artists against the the thing that I'm saying no, no, is that the they shit, pick man. they pick you know let's say less streamed artists versus right here we got was I even nominated? Yes, okay. I got I got you, I got you, I got you. He didn't yes, win anything. He didn't win shit. Relax. No, he, of course, he, obviously he didn't. No, he didn't well, win nothing. He, thing. Not win he didn't win anything. How do you not win if he's like one of the most streamed artists? Look, where he at? Number three. Unless he won against Karin Leon? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's what And happened. Karin Leon won that? Or Angel's going to tell us. Okay, hold up. It's because I look way different on the computer. All right, all right, all right, all right. Dude, it's cash. Man, fuck you, dude. Man, fuck you, dude. Like, no, I had it on. I had it good. Hold up. It's because it just looks way you different. You had it good. Do you think I could like hop off and get on the computer? I had it ready to go. It looks different on here. Have deal with it. Oh, right here. The mouse is right there. All right, guys. Mm, while damn. while he does that, I don't know. What to here's the cash app. <laughs> <laughs> while he does that, here's that the literally cash we're app. gonna go live stream and it's like comment a dollar and then we'll say whatever you have on. Guys, I wanna I wanna ask, what do you guys think of Augusto Hotline? Is this something that you guys would like to keep participating on? Like, just give us feedback. How can we make it better? Maybe get it on a Zoom. Okay. Like, right what can we make it right more high quality? Yeah, oh, I have it backwards. Look, it's oh my bad. god. Oh Angel. my god. But this, this is nuevo. This is why we got an editor because Angel does Dude, not know Angel's how to use <laughs> the laptop <laughs> or the phone. You can zoom in. But no? says, how much do you weigh right now? How do you zoom in? Me? Yeah. I weigh like huh? 130. I went back. I can't. Oh, back I swear. Uh, promise. Oh, no, Pinky promise. I can't zoom. I'm back to 130. And then he's going to weigh himself in the oh, morning and be like 112. <laughs> I mean, can you, okay, for song of the year, can you tell us the nominees? Like this? You could double click. Not read. double click, but double tap to zoom in. No, but double tap, not click. Double tap. Oh, that's crazy. That's oh, okay. okay, 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 okay. Anyway, La Bichota oh. and Becky G ganaron Canción del Año con Mami. No la he escuchado, pero va a estar bien buena. No, it was actually a good song. Ahí les va. Regional Mexicano. Hero G, my bae. New Artist. So, the Artist of the Year for new. New Artist. Oh, sorry, sorry. Son of... Raro porque I'm reading it in English and I'm trying to translate. Regional Mexican new artist? Yes. Karin Leon is a new artist? That's crazy. Ahí les va. Relax. Say the nomination and then say the winner. Ahí les va. This is a good nomination. So in English, it is Regional Mexican new artist. So the best new artist of the Regional Mexico this year. Yeah. Iván Cornejo, Jera MX, Luis R. Conríquez, Uciel Payán, Los del M, Aldo Trujillo, Yaritza y su esencia, Junior H., y el ganador es... Karin León. Karin León. Claro. Regional Mexican New Which artist. is valid. Which is valid. Well, I think that one's he's valid. Really I think it's very valid. But is he a new artist? No. Maybe well, he... I feel like he's a, he's, he's a new mainstream artist. Yeah. So is Ivan? Oh, okay. Pero es que ahí les va. Ahí, 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 ahí les va. Pero, look, we this. can make the same thing 
for Junior H. Is Junior H a new artist? Mm -mm. So we don't know the parameters of what new is. To them, is Junior yeah. H? New to the, them. There you go. So I think that's what it is. So like whoever hit like Politics. mainstream success Politics. this year. I think that's what it is. So Karim Leon ganó. That was selling out arenas every other day. Ahí les va. Excellent. Dieron un premio a la excelencia. Y ese no tiene nominados. Se lo Tocable. Tocable. Album del año. Do you want to tell us the... Un verano sin ti. El ganador, Un verano sin ti. Any nominations we could say? I don't know. Mm -mm. Artista del año. Guess who won? Carol G. Carol G. Nominados. Estaba Ángel Aguilar. Grupo Firme. Prince Royce. Bad Bad Damn, Bad Bunny lost to... So what How does that you? That? It's a scam. How guys. does that make you feel? It's a scam. a scam. How do you win? How do you win a Grammy and then can't even win on Premas on How do you win album of the year? Like this was the best album, but not doesn't make you artist of the year. Yeah, exactly. Like I feel like that should. It kind of it's like a little contradicting, huh? Yeah, huh. it is. Like and all his all his albums are in the top charts, and they stayed at. We the We need top. to know these. If you guys want it, comment. We'll look up the parameters of how they pick this stuff. Because now it's not making sense. I feel like oh, they kind of they kind of really picked whoever they wanted to win, and then they let us pick with two. Who, who runs it? Like Univision no, or something? Ahí les va. Canción norteña del año. Y los nominados son... Chale. That's crazy. Uh, Calibre 50, Intocable, Josh Favela. Alfredo Olivas. Alfredo Olivas, no. I never heard that song. You all heard it? No. Then I no. thought I was a huge Alfredo <laughs> no. Olivas fan. And, and then Moon... That's crazy. Uh, and and then Moon... That for left fucking uh, Calibre 50 and they yeah, won an Calibre award Yeah, Calibre 50 is on there too. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so he, le he left and he won an award. Against his old Against group. His, yeah, that's I crazy. know Calibre 50 hella salty. They be throwing... Didn't they, they go through like three different guys? Like the, uh, Los Buki? That for going on the tour by himself. Oh, yeah, El Buki. That's crazy. Nah, but I feel is like... Is it like El Buki or Los Buki? El, like El Buki. El Buki? Like, uh -huh. damn. Yeah, but I feel like he could have gone on his own. He just kind of did this one because he's always with them. Like, he wanted to get their bag. He wanted to give him their last. There was talks about it. Huh? But Marco Antonio Solis is like Something one of like the biggest to ever live that sing in Spanish. That's like God oh, Junior right there. I agree. There's, a level, there's hella levels and like he's really up there. He's like a peso pluma. Yeah. Level. Got no chale. And I think that song was like specifically made for TikTok. Have you guys heard it? Which one? Uh -uh. Chale? Yeah. It's the one that's like. Una sacudita puro pa delante. ¿Quién jala conmigo por una peda? Oh, for real? Something like that. I want to go, I wanna go drink. Exactly. That's exactly what he. You knew the end consumer was in his thing. Halamos, halamos. And also, I, I saw a TikTok earlier today where he was talking to artists because I guess they have little panels because it was the premios, whatever. Mm -hmm. And he was talking, it's like, oh, if you guys see my songs, like I make a commercial and I make it super simple so that regular people could relate to it. Mm -hmm. So he's like, do something like that. So Sorry. when I heard the song, like that's what exactly came to mind of, of they're like, oh, he's like really trying to make those TikTok sounds. Mm -hmm. Like, conmigo para una peda. like everybody's going to try to repost that. I didn't know he made a song with um, so he's really smart. Beto Sierra and uh, oh, Santa Fe. Uh, Santa Fe clan. Crossover because I think she should have been Peso Pluma and fucking not dying. Peso Pluma. Hey, huh? Mm. Sheesh. Yeah. Rolón. That song's at 99. Yeah. Should we sing a oh. million? That'll be our outro YouTube. today again. <laughs> we could do an outro. How oh, fuck is Chris Brown on Crossover. Here? Chris Brown, I guess. Chris Brown and who? The Premio Lo Nuestro. And Justin Timberlake? The fuck? I don't get this, fam. They're so not even Mexican. Ed Sheeran? What the fuck? Female new artist, Kimberly Loaiza. Who's that, though? <laughs> I don't know. Presenta. <laughs> <laughs> pues si la conociera. <laughs> si la conociera, mi niño. Pues yeah, That's Kimberly, a weird it, name. It sounds familiar, pero like Kimberly Loaiza. I think she made a song with Ovi. Oh, with Ovi? Oh! oh I don't yeah, know the yeah, name yeah. of it, but I remember it was yeah. like number one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember, but damn. It should like more followers than Ovi, too. Isn't it that song that goes like, Una gatita? No, no, no. no. That's Una right. gatita que le gusta al mama. That song was a hit, too. <laughs> I, I be getting some ass thrown back at the club with that song. <laughs> By Angel? <laughs> get going, Angel, at the club. Dale, moreno. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not like that. Go, Angel. Dale, moreno. <laughs> Urban collaboration of the year. Fue Chencho. Quien sabe quien sea. Un Chencho. Me porto bonito. Chencho, what's his last name? Oh, oh that's the one with what's last name? What's his last name? I don't know. That's crazy. Yo, Chencho the Goat. If you don't know Chencho. I never called Chencho the Goat. People only know because I never called Chencho the Goat. I never called Chencho the Goat. Okay, the collaboration with Bad Bunny and Me Porto Bonito. They won the collaboration. Si tu me lo pides, yo te pido. Le pido, what's his last name? 
Wait, what? Is the billboard every year? Yes. I right, we're going this year for sure. That's crazy. Look, that fool's song is twice. Who? He got nominated for two different oh, songs. Oh, Bad Bunny uh, and Fade? Feed? Fade. Fade. Fail. La bichota. Oh, I saw it. Alpha was hanging out with Luis R. Conriquez. They might even make a song together. Shout out to Luis R. Conriquez. Luis R. Conriquez making a song with Mike Towers. My name is Juego. Juego. Mike Towers? New male artist got no biz rap. Damn, they got that many? Biz rap did blow up. Okay, ahí les va. Serreno Song of the Year. Nominados. Híbrido. Virlán García. Como antes. What is it? Nathan? Natan algo. Nathan something. Fuerza Descansando. Regida, That's crazy. That, that sounds good. Un what? día menos. Grupo de los Chivas. Pensé que... What? <laughs> Chavas. Pensé que esos eran del soccer, ¿no? Bueno, It's ganó like... Yaritza y su esencia con hey. Soy el único. That's sick. Congratulations, hey. Mando. Jairo, con Bajaro. Mando. Y ganó también Shakira. Shakira. Hey, ¿con la canción de Pelé o qué? No, él lo perdió. Pelé. Piqué. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Con la canción Pelé de Maradona. Pelé es un legendary player. I know, no, 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 no. R.I.P. Con la canción de Maradona. R.I.P. Pelé. What's his name? Piqué. R.I.P. No, al Piqué lo perdió. Pelé. Este no ganó. Qué go. Oh my yeah. god. My sister's oh. probably fucking punching back. Imagine right you now. were. You no, I think what. Oh. Imagine, imagine you were like an actual like live commentator. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna be like, imagine Kiko like fucking naming the Grammys. No, oh, that's yeah. crazy. No, Dude, you're gonna be like Steve Harvey. Yeah, yeah, Steve Harvey has. What did he uh, say? And then fucking yeah. Will Smith over here fucking. He's like, me Will podrás Smith hacer una cantada. <laughs> <laughs> Will Smith's husband. <laughs> Take it off. Que se la quite. Que se la quite. We said he looked like the boy from Strappy Jumbo. Will Smith's husband. That one might have been out of pocket. <laughs> why am I getting? Uh, I the, why am I getting cooked? <laughs> no, but I said. No. Normally, I have a fresh fade and it looks sick, but obviously it's cold over here in Cali, you know? <laughs> no, not really. All right, let's go on break. He got the Drake cut, too. Yes. He got the Verano Sin Ti, Urban Album of the Year, and Cristian Nodal got the Region Mexico Male Artist, and the woman, no alcanzó a leer. Oh, the Verano one, too? That's crazy. He got the Mexican Music, ya supere el grupo Vilma Cog. Augusto Awards. Lenny Ramirez. What are your own awards? Peace out. Can I win? Oh, peace out or break? Break, break and then peace out. Break and we back. That's crazy. Damn. Okay, guys, we are back from the break. And then uh, Gecko has a question for us. He wrote down. He has a very sophisticated question. Is he sophisticated or not? No sé qué es esa palabra, pero... <laughs> At least he's honest. Um, the question is, should, <laughs> artists, should artists be able to drink on stage while performing at concerts? Why do you bring this question up? I bring this question up because there have been a video... Popping up on TikTok of Samuelon fucking up because <laughs> he had too much alcohol. Yeah, Samuelon de Requintero from Fuerza Regida. Ya no le dices Sammy. Ya no me regañan acá. Okay. Earlier you were calling him Samuel. Pues sí, Samuel. Samuel. Well, if you guys haven't seen that video, there's a video where. There's a lot Fuerza, of videos. Fuerza Regida is performing in Mexico. I don't know. Puebla, where, bro. Huh? Puebla. Puebla. And then it was a song that goes. Dicen que no me no tan 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 chamo Guzman. And JLP's like, hey, 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 hey. Run it from the top. He did Run that. And then they ran over the song. The, the shit went viral. And then... But the second part was still messed up. As the, the requinto part was coming, obviously, Samadon has to jump in. And he jumped in incorrectly. And he sounds off tune. Like, if any guitar players know what I'm talking about, like, if you're not playing the scala, like, it's not going to sound right. And it took him a while to catch up. And he, I think he just ruined the intro of the requinto. But I'm the one to judge. He's the one performing. Yeah, well, not- but a lot of people did call him out. If you guys haven't seen the video, check it out. It's and funny. that that's why he brought up the topic of should artists be able to drink while well, performing making on a stage? Performance. I personally think no. And I'm gonna tell you guys why. Okay, but what do you what do you think? I say no. Hell yeah, Nafu. I say yes, artists should be able to drink on stage. Hell yeah. Why? Because he's ready. Wow, oh, I was ready. I was ready. Okay, boys. Why? You want to say? No, let's start off. I was ready. No, right, go. 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 I think artists should not be <laughs> able to drink on stage because the people that are coming to the show are paying their hard work money to see them perform. And then that's the artist's job to perform and give a good show. Clearly, in this example that Keiko brought up, this artist was not able to perform 
to its highest level because of intoxication. And then people get drinking? people get mad. It was because he was drinking. I think. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? I think. Yes, he was drinking, so he couldn't tolerate his alcohol. <clears throat> and obviously, once you get a little bit too much, se te va la onda. You know, yeah. you can't you can't cooperate. <laughs> you can't cooperate. hit the things that you gotta hit. So. I, <laughs> for me, I say no. You've ever needed to hit something that you couldn't say, hit because you're super intoxicated? I, I, say, I say no. I say no because there's some artists that can't tolerate their alcohol. Y a veces cagan el palo, you know? For example, Chato. Como de más. <laughs> no, no names. Shit, man, shit, no hey, names. No, Chato. Oh, no. Like, no, no hate, but no, no, you, not can't hate. Tolerate, no, you can't like, tolerate. Literally, I'm not in this frame. No, he's in the frame. You You're, can't tolerate your alcohol. Angel told me. White thing. angle <laughs> with angle. You can't, you focus can't, on Angel. Red you can't tolerate your alcohol. There's some artists who actually hit women when they're drunk, but we're not saying that, but we're just saying some artists. <laughs> we're not saying that, but he just said that? Some artists what? can't. Bro. Some, 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 artists, this some artists can't tolerate their alcohol. Who hit so women? I say, <laughs> I say no because there's to artists, women, I it. say no to artists <laughs> drinking, and that's it. Oh, Caso you should have chose us. You should have chose the, oh, <laughs> Caso, <laughs> we, were, we were up there. We were about to like, hit, we were about to say, we, yeah, we were Caso hitting Caso, solid Caso, concrete details. Caso okay, so you said artists should not drink. Bro, yeah. y'all literally okay. like no fun at parties. Like, do you think, you think if I would have gone to that show, I would have been like, Damn, fool, Sammy messed up the requinto from that one song and it just messed up my whole night. <laughs> no! Then why are they no. bashing? You know what then I remember? Why are they Hella singing the song. I would have been lit. I would have been taking shots. I would have been singing along. Yeah. Having a good time. That and is then the, I'd be like, oh my God, no, the requinto. That is, no. the, that is the audience's. All right, all right, all right. You know, <laughs> already then the personal go. choice. Oh. Okay, oh, I think artists should be able to drink because, you know, they work so hard to get there and like, have people buy tickets to go see them. They drink because they want to have fun. I think they should be able to drink because you, you might be shy to go on stage. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you that's drink good. to, like, loosen yourself up. You got to match the get energy. In the, yeah, match the energy of the crowd, which that's also drinking, and then make them feel like you guys are drinking together. Like, I'm when I get a beer, I want to feel like I'm drinking with no, you. If I'm taking a shot, you taking a shot. Pero, yeah. shot I'm taking a Pero, shot. Can I say something? Where I got cut food? There's... <laughs> Grupo finna be up there fucking chugging the whole bottle. Like, the crowd's not gonna be doing that. Like, un shot, y yeah, and that's it. Pero no, pues que, es que the crowd botella, does not do one tras shot. Botella, no, tras no. botella, tras botella, and que no se pasen verga, you know? Like, okay, yeah, so I'm going to watch botella, a show, not fucking to see who's going to So you're saying they shouldn't drink, like, they're, it's so basically, literally work, it's they're work, gonna right? go up there, and they're gonna go, Samuelon, como dice? Marque, compa, Sammy, and everybody's gonna be like, so like that it's, it's, it's basically, basically like a performing to like an audience right it's not opera fool <laughs> and then uh you're saying they shouldn't drink right i can't be why do you drink why do you drink on the podcast i don't drink on to the an podcast. audience nah. last episode i can't back you up no more <laughs> 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 Okay, look. Yes, yes, okay, yes. you know what? Tell no. listen. Let us pass on the. Okay, the yeah. God. But look, then what? The one time, one time. <laughs> one time last week. You're saying they shouldn't drink. Why okay, do you drink? Look, Someone pulled up the, last week. But look, what we're yeah, doing. yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but on no, you guys' episode, I got fucked up on what happened. It wasn't a good episode. You know, I can't repeat it. You're not helping us. You're not helping us. No. You literally just proved the point. You're saying you're saying you drink, you got fucked up, and it wasn't. And it came out bad. Why are you drinking still? Okay, okay, good. But the point I haven't. I can't defend it. Bro, like think of your think of your argument, people. Oh, si no God. han visto la joya del episodio <laughs> que es a gusto papá con lluvia. Arambula. Arambula when the lights were still purple. We and like you have some time. Characters. Go watch that one. Oh, the Trust me, it's a good ass up. episode. It's a good ass episode. Oh, now continue. Funny Dude, ass episode. I can't back you up no more. <laughs> <laughs> you literally, oh. we we're oh. up here. I was drunk. Jason was like, "Ooh, can't go with like." What, they one more, yeah, but they don't pay. They don't pay to Boom. come watch it. Like, it was like the <laughs> like the thing. My boy was taking it up. Keko, uh, I think I this agree with some down. of the points that you guys have uh, I did not think we were gonna win this shit no <laughs> es que es look, look. Okay. hay fuerza regida goes y dice eh hey, esto no es un concierto esto es una peda con la regida we see the tiktoks ya sabemos a lo que vamos pa que nos yeah but like they, pa, they, que nos, pa que nos hacemos they still need to be able to perform yes they what gotta if, know like, how they, what, they gotta know how to tolerate what, what, the alcohol what, 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 exactly That's like are we there are we there to go fucking pay to see <laughs> them boy, get drunk my boy we're proving the same boy yes <laughs> 
Why are you fighting? I'm not <laughs> fighting with him. I'm not <laughs> fighting with him. I'm you agreeing with welcome him. Welcome to the team. I you guys are the okay, winning okay. team. No. Clearly, guys, we were going strong. But I want you guys <laughs> to let me know. Would you guys want the artist to drink okay, with you okay, guys, okay, or good. put on a good show and stay sober and you guys, guys, guys get a good show? Take the shots back. Is that bad? Them one shot, me one shot. Take the shots back. Que se nos acabe la botella, se nos acabe el dinero. Y luego anda uno freaky freaky. Hey, excuse me, let me go yeah, it's a cover show. It's a cover show. <laughs> but anyway, mind, that's it. Any, any honorable mentions that you guys have at concerts where you guys did enjoy it and the artist was drinking? Every concert. Puerta Regida. <laughs> oh, lit. Damn, actually. <laughs> Puerta Regida, the crypto arena. That shit was lit as fuck. I haven't gone to a show where I'm like, oh, damn, they're drinking a lot. Oh, but you know what? Si se cayó. Who? Se cayó, I just yeah. remember TikTok on the se cayó. Who? But I'm going to shut up because I won this argument. <laughs> <laughs> No. no. Oh, I honestly was like, damn, it's going to be kind of hard. But no, after on. Gecko said all that bullshit, I was like, <laughs> bet. Literally, it was all bullshit. <laughs> and, then started, <laughs> and then he started fighting Jason. <laughs> no, we didn't fight. We're just. We're hey, well, fight. you guys weren't helping each other. I told you that much. But, uh, but if you want to help yourself, make sure you watch the podcast with Yubi Arambula and Gecko. <laughs> That's the funniest episode. I feel That's like the funniest episode on shit. the channel. I want to like, re upload that shit. Dude. Look, let's just say if you can tolerate your alcohol and know how to handle. Drink, so drink, you know, yeah. No, Thomas, if you're yeah. gonna be fucking up, I agree. Go. You you summarized this topic very yeah, well. Yeah, <laughs> After you, but lost. you guys let us know down in the comments lo que piensan ustedes. Let us know in the comments. Uh, let us know back in the comments. No, me se me salir acento. Yeah, chumar. because if they're gonna drink, drink responsibly. Yeah, like don't drink and then be fucking driving. Who's this new keko? Don't drink and be falling and driving and a bunch of shit. You know. And then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, like, yo, 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 yo. Y el que se enoja es porque se puso el saco, eh? Oh, pues, yeah. ¿quién se la tiene puesta? Que nadie se enoja. But yeah, so that's what <laughs> we think. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> should artists be my able to drink? A, my boy got a fitted saco. <laughs> should, should artists be able to drink? All tailored. <laughs> all tailored and shit. <laughs> Brad is laughing too. That's crazy. All tailored and shit with the corbata y todo. That's and then, crazy. And then, <laughs> diamond brim on the saco. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Some right you guys want to wrap it up or you guys want to oh, do viral? Topic. Don't viral wrap clip, it up. Viral clip of the, the... Nah, no more viral clip. All right. <laughs> that Keko. was a viral clip right there. Damn, Keko, what happened there? <laughs> All right, guys. Honestly, we had the advantage to win the argument, but we clearly didn't. We did Because I didn't. guess Keko decided to switch teams and maybe <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro, it's, it's hopefully like there's the only team that was switching. A horrible. Are you? <laughs> what is it? Many artists hit their hit one hit. <laughs> He's talking about Remy. Damn, that, bro, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. crazy. Okay, <laughs> <That's> the, crazy. <laughs> you're like only like the end of the video club people. Are yeah, y'all, y'all saw that. Y'all yeah. some real ones for real, for real. Thank hey, you guys for tuning in. Another like week that. without getting canceled. We can never get canceled for saying all some crazy stuff. If you guys keep following, subscribing, and todo eso, ya se la saben. And this is this is a clip from me. Uh, Flip the it? episode of. <laughs> The episode Yubia of Yubia, flipping. the episode where no, Yubia no, when I get blacked out, this is this is a clip right A little here. tiny clip, but you guys go watch it. Dude, that shit needs to be real, bro. Have you seen it, Ricky? It's the funniest episode <laughs> ever, <laughs> wait. That's my Go watch home that. and watch the episode of Yubia. Bro, when you're, st- when, like, you're on, bro. Like, when you're stoned, watch that shit. It's bro, fun. it's because, Mitching, I don't wait. We shot an episode before, and I don't know who the fuck brought that bottle, but... It was Montana. This was, I was sitting in the corner, bro, and my son was right next to me. The next thing you know, I just see the bottle like this. Yeah, I know where the pendejo was taking shots. Best la bottle. It was like 3 p.m. Way. And then we finished, and I was like, all right, bet, you know, I couldn't no, Ricky, get up. Please watch that. I couldn't get up, and the next thing you know, they're like, we got another episode. I'm like, man. El que andaba a las 3 de la tarde como el Alejandro Fernández en un concierto. hit me, bro. No mames. See, we. Yeah. It wasn't even at night, bro. You got like, peer pressured. Hey, but you know what I noticed from yeah. that episode, aside from you like being visibly impaired, uh-huh. that you hella tried. And that one? Yeah, like you were sitting up straight. You don't have your hoodie on. You don't have a <laughs> he hat tried on. He was drunk. Like you weren't like looking at your nails. He's like, and best, stuff. I'm drunk. Best behavior. Like and that was like pilas. Oh, no. You were trying to make an argument. Like you tried to say your question for like solid ten minutes. <laughs> the same one, dude. It but, was the sales. I might have to get fun. drunk on another episode. Yeah, well, not right now. I have to wait until when we're we gonna Hawaii. August. <laughs> August, yeah, August, July, July. <laughs> August, July. Until until August, I won't be able to drink. <laughs> I am on a cleanse, no alcohol. What are you cleansing from? Alcohol. <laughs> get nah, a, well, I already told you, get rice vinegar. Shut your the fuck up with your dumb. And go like this. <laughs> and, and don't forget, like don't forget your coyotes. 
That's crazy. <laughs> That All right, guys. Thank Should you guys we end it with playing the song again? Thank I don't want to play it again. One of those days. Copyright. Get your guitar. Get your guitar. For the last time. Oh, yeah. No, we're going to hit it. Get it. Get it. It's right there. Slap that shit. Slam it, bro. We get some help, and all of a sudden, JC can't get up and get his guitar. Slam that shit. Bust some guitar on the hole. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Compa Jason Igualito mi apá Hasta los mismos Hey, let's do a different song Igualito mi apá Let's do a different song Go No, we practice that one PRC Ready Un, dos, tres, un ¿Cómo? Peter Parker. Por Augusta, la verga. Peace out, guys. Comment what song you guys want next week?